So this is what happens when you enable comments on a video. And this one was a uh, mistake was found. So um, apologies for the video beforehand. Uh, this is its replacement. Um, we were working through a second example of shuttle sort. And we're going to put these numbers, 49625, in descending order. Okay, so I've underlined descending. It is quite possible that you could be asked to put them in descending order. It can be a little bit more tricky, okay, in the sense that you're just not used to doing it. Um, so you've got to keep an eye on it and be aware of it. Um, so we work with a column approach, 49625. We're going to count the comparisons of swaps at each pass, okay? So we draw a line under the first two numbers, and we're going to compare 4 and 9 first. Now, because we're putting them in descending order, these are not in the correct order. I want the largest number at the top, so the 9 must go first, then the 4. So we've made one comparison here and one swap already. Okay, the first two were not in the correct order. I drop down level, and now I compare the 4 and the 6. Well, the 4 and the 6 would be in correct order if this was ascending, but it's descending, so I need to make a swap here with the 6 and the 4. But to make sure the 6 is now in the correct place, I also must now compare it with the 9. Which, obviously, it is, because 9... The order should be 964. Okay, so I've made two comparisons, but I only made one swap there, the 6 and the 4. So I now have 964, and I've got the 2 and the 5. I drop down a level, okay, and I make the comparison between the 4 and the 2. Now the 4 and the 2, they're in the correct order, so I don't need to make any swaps or other comparisons. So I make one comparison to compare the 4 and the 2, but zero swaps. So I've now got 9, 6, 4, 2, and then 5, and I drop down a level, the final level, to now consider 2 and 5. Well, 5 is larger than 2, so this is going to have to cause a swap here. So I'm going to need to compare the 5 with the 4, because maybe, possibly, uh, the numbers will be going 9, 6, 4, 5, 2, okay? Which isn't quite right, so I need to make that comparison with the 4. That creates another swap, so I must then compare the 5 with also the 6. The 6, however, is larger than the 5, so that fixes the 5 in place. So I made one comparison, two comparisons, three comparisons, and two swaps. Okay, So then you can total them up if you want to, or if you need to, rather. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Seven comparisons and one, two, three, four swaps. Okay, and that is in this case doing shuttle sort and putting a list of numbers in descending order. Okay, so you just got a little bit put a little bit more thought into it. You don't expect that you would have to, but it's because you're just probably not going to be used to uh, putting numbers in descending order rather than ascending. Okay.